Hey, welcome back to Ramsey Land. Today I want to check out the levels of radioactivity with my Geiger counter. Check this out. Well, now this may look harmless. Let's find out if it's radioactive with our Geiger counter. Well, you may have noticed that beeping sound and the CPM, that stands for counts per minute of how many charged particles are being emitted. So the beep starts in at around 100 CPM. So one of the risk factors is how many charged particles are being emitted. But the other thing to think about is duration. How long are you exposed to that high level of radiation? And there's a few more things that I'd like to test with you. Check this out. So here's a helpful chart to help you understand the dangers of radiation as measured in micro sieverts. And you can see that on my Geiger counter in the top right corner, this next sample of uranium ore is emitting uh, primarily alpha particles from uranium isotopes that are larger and tend to be blocked just by your skin tissue alone. So although the Geiger counter will start beeping and it looks dangerous, it's only going to get up to about six microsieverts. And you can see at one microsievert, that would be like sitting in front of a monitor for an entire year. Five microsieverts would be like a dental x-ray. Um, we're just going to be just above that at about six microsieverts for this example of uranium ore. So it looks actually quite a bit more dangerous than it really is. So you may have noticed that when I closed the aluminum container, the radiation levels dropped immediately. And that's because those uranium isotopes are emitting alpha particles that are much larger and your skin tissue alone blocks most of those particles. So with that example of uranium ore, you can see that we jumped up to about four microsieverts, which on this chart is just under the amount of radiation you'd receive from a dental x-ray. I hope you enjoyed today's edition of Ramsey Land, and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this presentation, be sure to remember to like and subscribe.